Hi there, this is Nahid from the Arab Education Channel and it is the 7th session of MongoDB tutorial. Query a database is one of the most important operations that we need to be expert on when we are dealing with data. So, uh, for the other operations such as insert, update and delete, uh, they are not uh, very complicated. We just want to insert something into a collection or update some uh, existing data or even delete. Uh, an existing item and there's also another item another operation inside mongodb named absurd it's somehow a combination of insert and update and we will talk about it in upcoming sessions but for queries we need to be able to fetch data based on some criteria so we need to create some criteria in order to look for some data or some documents inside a collection we can one of uh, these two methods find one or find in order to retrieve data from a collection in MongoDB. We talked about find one in previous session and in this session we're going to focus on find and also uh, querying embedded documents and uh, also query array elements inside the document. These are very useful when we are working with real world applications because in real world applications we mostly mm, face with uh, embedded documents and also arrays inside our documents. Find uh, I accept a couple of parameters they are the same as find one but in this session I'm going to show you how we can use for example or operator in uh, query parameter and also some other stuffs this is the uh, main notation or uh, signature for find uh, method DB is uh, referred to uh, I, uh, currently activated database and also collection is the collection name or the name of the collection that we want to query and also here we need to provide two optional parameters query and projection in query uh, we are going to specify a criteria using to match documents for uh, the output this is the basic uh, criteria that we can imagine a field and a value again a field and a value the default operator here is and and I'm going to show you how you can use or operator when you want to query over a database and also for projection we can uh, use uh, this notation name the field and uh, then after that uh, passing one or true or uh, zero or false as the value for this field in order to be present at the output or to ignore it in the output and also there's two different concepts inclusion and exclusion for projection that I'm going to talk about it very soon and also if we just uh, call find method without any parameters it's going to return a cursor to a list of items inside the collection all of the items inside the collection so what does the cursor mean the cursor points to the first item inside the list and then you need to move to the next one next one and go till the end of uh, the list but in mongoosh it's going to mm, print out the 21st element of uh, the collection if we just use find without any parameter but in the real world application you need to uh, use it as a cursor and move to the next uh, item inside uh, the list okay let's go to mongoosh and do some real world examples in order to get uh, familiar with the find method in mongodb so for this session i'm going to create another database uh, so let's create a database named warehouse warehouse house and I'm gonna insert a couple of items inside the collection named inventory so I just uh, copy it and paste it you can find it from uh, MongoDB uh, official website so I just insert four uh, five different items inside the inventory uh, collections so let's see what we have here yeah we have inventory collection now I'm gonna create our first query using find method if you just call find method without any parameter or pass an empty JSON object, it's going to return uh, first 20 items. So here we only have five items, so it's going to re uh, return all the items inside this collection. Now, imagine it's it's somehow equal to uh, something like this in SQL uh, databases. Select asterisk from inventory. Inventory it's somehow equal to this command now imagine I'm gonna look for items that their status equals to D so for this purpose 
I need to uh, make a query something like this db.inventory.find and pass an object so what's inside the object first the name of uh, the field it's a status and the value it's d okay because it's a string is case sensitive so here I only have two items with a status d paper and planner and also it's uh, equal to something like this select asterisk from inventory where the status equal to d okay oops I pressed wrong key on my keyboard and um, let's use a query operator for example uh, or query selectors I'm looking for items that their status equals to D or A for this purpose I can use something like this I'm looking for a status and here because I need uh, uh, I need to check for two items or two values we can path another object and here I'm going to use dollar in query selector and here I'm going to pass a list and say I'm looking for A and D so it says looking for uh, documents that their status are equal to A or D this is the uh, usage of in a uh, query selector so here we have all the items because their values are A or D let's see yeah their value is A or D all of them are A or D so that's it now mm, let's uh, looking for some items that their status equals to A and for example um, their mm, quantity or QTY less than 30 so uh, this item and uh, only this item should be presented in the output so let's see how we can handle this one I'm gonna say db.inventory find something that it is a that its status equals to a and if you put comma here by default it's going to use and operator QTY so we are not going to use uh, equal uh, equality we want to use uh, less than so again we need to use query selectors it's another parameter Oops, I think we have an extra hello curly brace here yeah and then I'm going to use dollar LT or less than for example 30 so here we have and between our criteria a status equal to and uh, quantity or QTY less than 30 let's see what we have we have only one item a status A and the QTY is 25 uh, now let's change it for example to uh, LTE 50 we have another items with the QTY 50 oops here we have three items let's change it to 45 and now we have two items their status both is A and their QTY less than uh, 45 less than e less than equal to 45 so we have these two documents in the output now imagine that we want to convert this AND operator to OR so let's see what we have in the original document we have a couple of A status and uh, let's see uh, I want to look for some item that their status equals to A or their uh, QTY is less than 80 so these three items uh, should be appeared in the output and also this one because although it's not uh, equal it, it's a status not equal to D we have QTY less than 80 uh, or we can change it in another way for example we are looking for a status D these two items should be presented uh, in the output and the item that their QTY is less than uh, 30 so we have only three items or two documents um, at the output so let's create it when we want to use uh, or operator we need to use something like this first of all let's clear all them we need to pass a criteria object 
and then here because we want to combine some condition we need to use dollar or operator explicitly and operator is somehow implicit and then I'm gonna say I provide a couple of uh, condition for you an array of objects so just uh, concatenate them to each other using or operator and here we need to specify those uh, um, those criteria for example I have two um, criteria here first one is about a status all the documents their status equals to D and the other one is another criteria so I'm gonna uh, use another curly braces and then here I'm gonna say QTY then we need to use another curly brace for query selectors and this time I'm going to use LT for example 30 so let's see how it works we have three different uh, documents in the output this one a status equal to D this one a status equal to D this one a status is not D but the QTY is less than 30 so it should be presented in the output this is how OR works we need to pass an operator then for value we need to specify an array of objects and in the objects we can use our criteria. now imagine that uh, I want to uh, I want to for example uh, combine AND and OR operators together so let's go to our original data one more time here I want to look for documents that their status equals to A and their QTY is less than uh, 30 or their name start with P we can use regular expression for this, sign, uh, this kind of uh, checking with uh, strings so we need to write it something like this okay I'm gonna use this one inventory let's delete all of the items so we need to have a main query object inside it first I need to look for the documents that their status equal to A and then we need to concatenate the next uh, criteria with this one using Android operator. so I can just use semi uh, comma and then I need to use dollar or as uh, the concatenation operator of conditions and here I need to specify an array of uh, conditions again here I uh, define two different conditions first one for QTY and the other ones is uh, for item uh, name so for this one I'm gonna say QTY gonna be something less than for example 30 and close it and for the other one the item should be a start with P okay it's a regular expression so we can use uh, this one and uh, let's see what uh, we should have in the output so these are the items that their first part of uh, uh, criteria is met their status is equal to A and then for the second one this one uh, has QTY less than 30 so it's okay and we don't need to check for the item name this one uh, QTY is not less than 30 so we should check for the first letter of item so it's not again a star with P so we don't have this item uh, in the output and for this one although the QTY is not less than uh, 30 we have item uh, start with P so we should have this one in the output let's see the output if I press enter you can see I have two items or two documents uh, in the output both uh, status or A and this one uh, has QT by less than 30 and this one uh, has uh, item start with P this is how we can combine uh, conditions with AND or AND or operators for the next query I want all the items that their QTY is something between for example 50 and uh, or 40 and uh, 60 let's see what we have uh, we have only two items this one and uh, this one for this purpose we can write a query like this db dot inventory dot find and uh, we need to pass a query object so here I'm gonna focus on QTY and we need to check it with uh, 
query selectors so again I'm gonna pass another object I'm gonna use dollar GT greater than for example um, I said 40 and again dollar uh, dollar LT or less than for example 60 so we only have two items and there's again a combination of uh, criteria using and operator here implicitly and will be used and here we have these two items next things that we are going to learn is to how to query on embedded or nested documents let's uh, see what we have inside this collection inventory collection one more time db that inventory dot find okay we have a couple of items and uh, our nested object is size inside size we have height width and a unit of measurement inch and centimeter so if we want for example to looking for a specific object that contains all of these items we can just pass a size uh, document or size uh, ob json object to the find method and looking for that what does it mean let's see how we can uh, query over over inventory collection using this notation for example we are looking for an inventory that uh, its size contains something like this like what we have w for example equal to um, 10 no uh, I'm sorry height equal to 10 w equals to 15.25 and then unit of measurement equals to cm so it's going to return one item this is the last item that we are looking for by specifying all the items inside the nested object what if i just uh, remove one of them for example i just get rid of a uh, unit of measurement and uh, looking for an object that its size contains h and w with these values it's not going to return anything because using this notation we should uh, provide all the fields inside the nested uh, document and again what if i change the order for example looking for something with the width of uh, 15.25 and height of 10 as i told you in previous sessions the order of fields is important so this object is not equal to this one because their uh, fields order is uh, different if i press enter nothing again returned because it couldn't find anything uh, with this uh, fields order okay wh and then um now imagine that i want to look for all the items that their unit of measurement is inch so i uh, just need to see these two items these two in the output if i just use this notation for example looking for size that uh, um equals to inch it's not working as we just uh, say it it's not uh, gonna return anything but for this purpose you need to do something like this using that notation put the uh, field name inside a quotation or double quotation and then separate the inner object fields using dots so i'm looking for uh, objects that their unit of measurement inside size field equals to for example inch that's it let's see what we have yeah we have two objects here these two um, and their status or yeah a and d okay they're true a and d that's it so when you want to query over nested object use this notation the field name inside the uh, first level and then dot and the field inside the second level and you can uh, go on uh, to the next levels if your object are nested in more details and also we can query operators uh, using uh, this notation for example i'm going to look for uh, some uh, items that their height is for example less than 15 so um, this item this item this one and this one these four items should be appear in the output okay let's change it to for example something uh, 10 i need only these three items less than and equal i'm going to use it so for this purpose we need to use size dot h 
again using dot notation and then here because we want to use uh, less uh, uh, query operators we need to uh, provide another object here we're going to use dollar LTE or less than equal it's not the uh, uh, mobile cell phone uh, band type LTE for example 10 and after that I'm going to press enter so here we have only three three items their edge field inside the size uh, field of the main document is less than 10 so again we can use query operators and also you can use and or, or or other things for example here I'm gonna mm, change the query to get the documents that their height is less than 10 less than or equal to 10 and their status equals to D so this field this document should be uh, in the output just this one so for this purpose I'm gonna uh, say after the unit of measurement I'm gonna say uh, after uh, height I'm going to say use uh, size that UIM or unit of measurement equal to uh, not unit of measure, status I'm sorry status equal to mm, let's change the query I'm looking for a status A okay so that's it here we only have two fields and again after that I'm looking for the one that uh, in addition to these two criteria has unit of measurement uh, of inch for this purpose again we're gonna uh, put a comma here and add another criteria so this time again we need to use dot notation for nested object unit of measurement in size fields equal to for example in and this time we only have one object that meets all these uh, criteria one more thing is that you can use uh, regular expression or regex with your uh, criteria. So what does it mean? Let's clear the output and uh, query over the collection one more time. Here we have uh, five different items. Imagine that I'm looking for documents that their item include ER in their names. Okay, well this one is somehow qualified and also this one. So I need these two uh, to be in the output for this purpose uh, we can do what we can do say db.inventory.find I'm looking for uh, some documents that are item okay here we can use dollar reg x or use its uh, dollar reg x or uh, use its uh, simple notation something like this for example er at sign uh, er yeah only er and then press enter okay we have only these two items paper and planner because they are ending ER and also you can use all the uh, reg mm, standard regular expression here in order to make your query uh, much more uh, accurate and another thing um, sometimes we need to focus on uh, existence of one field inside our documents let's insert an object I'm gonna copy this one and say db oops db dot inventory dot insert one and let's pass or paste this object and I'm gonna oops let's uh, correct it a little bit and I'm gonna back with you in very soon okay I created it let's uh, one more time use insert one method oops insert one method and pass this object this time I'm gonna change uh, the item to mobile cutie by to one and also add a brand with my name into the size uh, field and I press enter okay it says uh, one item inserted into the collection now I'm gonna look for all the items that um, their size uh, field contains a field named brand so for this purpose I'm gonna uh, make a query something like this db.inventory.find and 
because it's uh, a nested object we should use dot notation so I'm gonna say size oh we can just use size because it's just in its first level size should dollar use dollar exist exist and then uh, I'm sorry size dot uh, size dot brand exist equal to true and that's it exists exists so that's it we only have one item the item that I added just now uh, and it's uh, the only item that contains brand so if you want to check for existence of an item or a uh, field inside uh, a document we can use this notation tell the uh, object that you are looking for and then after that using exist with true now let's add another one for example I'm gonna add uh, here and this time I'm gonna say uh, for example age equal to 35 now I'm gonna look for um, any document that contains the field age because uh, age is now directly inserted inside the first level you don't need to use a uh, dot notation because it's just in the first level and then exist equal to true so let's press enter and that's it we only have one item again the last item that I inserted uh, into the collection so this is how we can use uh, exist operator in order to check for uh, field existence inside the main document or in the nested documents Last type of query that I'm gonna uh, talk about is uh, querying over arrays inside our documents. For this purpose, I'm gonna create a new uh, collection. Let's see what kind of collection we have. We just have uh, inventory. Let's uh, change it to human resource DB. Here I'm gonna say what we have. Yeah, let's uh, just drop the, empl uh, the employees. now I'm gonna insert a couple of items and this time we have an array inside uh, our documents that it contains some uh, framework or uh, programming languages that each person uh, has uh, skills on that okay let's insert it and that's it we just inserted six different uh, documents inside this collection and uh, for example the last one uh, doesn't have any skills now I'm gonna query over this array for example uh, for example we want to query for those documents that their skill their skills field contains tags this one for example for this purpose when we are looking for uh, .find, when we are looking for something inside a collection you need to just specify uh, the fields name skills skills and then just to specify that item because it's a single item we can uh, use this notation so here we only have two person that they uh, just mentioned tags in their uh, skills so this notation says if tags is inside their skills is inside their skills do not forget skills in a, uh, is an array and we are looking for something inside that array now imagine that uh, I'm looking for a uh, person or for uh, people's people that uh, they have tax or sales inside their skills array so uh, this one is not this one is okay uh, th this one is also okay and also this one and th th this one shouldn't be present at any of uh, the outputs so for this purpose we're going to say something like this we need to uh, use some operators here we are, going, uh, we are looking for skills that we need to pass an object dollar in and then specify some uh, skills inside an array so it says that we are looking for the skills array that they contain tax or sales now if I press enter you can see we have three different documents 
this one contains uh, tax, this one contains sales, and this one contains tax. And uh, what if we want to change the OR to AND? I mean that I'm looking for someone that it is skills contains tax and, for example, accounting. So let's change the query to something like this. Change into all and then taxes. Okay, and I'm going to change it to accounting. This time we are looking for documents that their skills array contains both tax and accounting. If I press enter, we have two items here. Both of them have tax and accountings in their uh, uh, skills array. And if you want to check for sizes, for example, we are looking for documents that their skills array uh, size is equal to 3. So for this purpose, again, we can use donor size and then pass a number. I'm looking for those who has three different skills. Okay, if I press enter, only this one has uh, three uh, different skills in its uh, skills array. So this is the way that we can use for uh, size checking of array inside our documents. So these are the basic concepts about querying over documents, nested documents, and also arrays in our documents. And uh, there are also uh, another um, tips and tricks about uh, this type of queries. And I'm going to record another video uh, and get into details for these type of queries with all the uh, possible um, options that we have. Now let's go for projection in find. It's very, it's completely similar to find one that we just uh, talked about in previous session. But today, in this session, I'm gonna cover this uh, again. In projection, we can customize the output fields. For example, I am going to say, look for uh, those uh, documents that the skills array uh, length is equal to three, and then I just want its first name and last name. For this purpose, we need to provide a second uh, object. And here, you need to specify which field you need to be included in the output. So I need first name, it's equal to one or true, and also last name, again, it's equal to true. I'm going to use both values. So, uh, okay, I didn't expect it. First name, oh, the N is uh, in capital. first name. Yeah. So here we only have first name and last name uh, in the output. And also for projection, we can use inclusion or exclusion. And also you can see we have underline ID, uh, although we didn't uh, specify it here directly. If you don't want to see underline ID in the output, you need to uh, directly mention it. Underline ID equals to zero. And then after that, first name and last name equals to true. So here we only have first name and last name. And uh, we can just use inclusion and exclusion for underline ID together. So if I just say, yeah, I need to see uh, first name, but I don't want to see last name. It's not true because we here want to uh, see the inclusion. After uh, underline ID, what uh, we just mentioned is the main operation, inclusion or exclusion. So if I, if I press enter, it says cannot uh, do exclusion on field last name in inclusion because it's an inclusion project. So if I change it, for example, here, I'm going to say I don't want to see first name and last name and also ID. So these three fields will be omitted in the output. And we only have email, salary, skills, and department. So what if I just say, look, I'm looking for uh, last name. I just want to see it in the output. This time, because we uh, use exclusion uh, prior to uh, inclusion, it says in include uh, we cannot do inclusion in exclusion projection. So we cannot use both of them together, just one. But an exception is that we can exclude underlying ID when we just want to inclusion or do inclusion projection. And that's it. Uh, And also, let's see what does anything related to projection. 
Well, there's nothing more, and that's enough for this session. I hope you enjoyed the content, and uh, you should do a lot of practice in order to be expert in querying over collections in MongoDB. And I will record another video and get into details for query operators with uh, more examples. Till next session, goodbye.